Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Thursday the 10th of September. We begin as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Eternal God, mighty and mysterious, sovereign over all, it is beyond the power of human words to express your greatness, for you are higher than we can ever begin to imagine. We praise you for that truth, and yet we confess also that it can be hard to live with, for it can make you seem remote, distant, detached from our situation, oblivious to our needs. We thank you that such times are rare, but they do come, times when you seem so mysterious, so far removed from our situation, that we question whether you are there at all. We seek, and yet we do not find. We ask, and yet we do not receive. We cry out for help, but you seemingly do not answer. Help us in such moments to gain inspiration for those who have felt the same before us, yet who have emerged from the darkness, to find that you have been there all along leading them by the hand, even when they could not see it. Assure us of your continuing purpose, your enduring love, and your final triumph. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. One Peter chapter five. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you clothe yourselves with humility towards one another, because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast. To him be the power for ever and ever. Amen. With the help of Silas, whom I regard as a faithful brother, I have written to you briefly, encouraging you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Stand fast in it. She who is in Babylon, chosen together with you, sends you her greetings, and so does my son, Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ.
Psalm 119 My soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes fail looking for your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? Though I am like a wineskin in the smoke, I do not forget your decrees. How long must your servant wait? When will you punish my persecutors? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, contrary to your law. All your commands are trustworthy. Help me, for I am being persecuted without cause. They almost wiped me from the earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your unfailing love preserve my life, that I may obey the statutes of your mouth. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth, and it endures. Your laws endure to this day, for all things serve you. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Save me, for I am yours. I have sought out your precepts, the wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. To all perfection I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Loving God, you long to shower us with blessings to fill our lives with good things. And yet there are times through our weakness of faith that we frustrate your gracious purpose and we deprive ourselves of the inexpressible riches you so freely offer. We do not seek, so we do not find. We do not ask, so we do not receive. We concern ourselves with the fleeting pleasures of the moment and so we fail to grasp the treasures that truly endure for all eternity. Forgive us the shallowness of our values and the limitations of our understanding. Teach us to set our hearts on those things that can truly satisfy and that you so yearn to share with us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 